Whoa, 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 another upload, bro. Welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay here, and yes, we're uploading again today. If you guys are enjoying the vlogs, don't forget to smash the like button for your boy. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking for LS430 content. Well, today we're kind of working on it, not really, but we're putting the stocks back on. Alright guys, you're probably wondering why I'm putting my stock wheels back on my LS430. So next week, I'm going to be doing a road trip to LA. So I figured, you know what, let's throw these stocks on since I have them. I usually end up selling these, but I ended up keeping the stocks for this car. Let's swap out the weds. Just because I don't want to ruin these on the way there. The roads out there in LA are just terrible, so I don't want to mess these up. And plus, I barely rode on these, so I might as well just put the miles on this. So we're going to be doing a light project today. Just switching the wheels. I also have a couple problems with my fronts. So I'll talk about that in a little bit, but let's throw these rears on real quick and swap these out. Start pattern people, start pattern. I learned so much since I was in high school. My homie Bricks and I, we used to just lower the car every single week not really know what the hell we were doing that could have went real bad so this front tire right here was giving me problems along with the oh. other one they're both leaking air at the same time I'm not sure if i have a nail in both of them or if it's the stems so i kind of just wanted to check this one right here inspect it because it's weird that it's leaking definitely got to get that checked because i don't want to db but man i don't see anything in here let me know what you guys think. Why are both of my fronts leaking at the same time? Pretty sure if I sprayed it with water and soap, I could figure out where it's leaking, but I don't have time for that today, so that's gonna be a project for another day. Yo, so I ran into a small problem because I forgot that we're running extended studs on the front. With extended studs, you could use a lug nut like this, open-ended. But since we're putting the stock wheels back, I'm using the stock lugs, which aren't long enough, as you guys can see. So when I put the wheel on there, there's too much play right here, and it makes it wobbly. So gave my homie a call. He just said, throw a spacer in it, bro. Throw a fatter spacer, and it'll be all good. So shout out to Kwong. I wasn't even thinking of that. Hey, we're putting the spacer in. Shout out to Ivan for this. He gave it to me back in the day, and now I'm finally using it. So with this, pushes it out a little bit more, and we could thread the wheel more safely on the fronts. That's the only issue that I ran into. Other than that, the other three are done. I'm gonna put these on and uh, call it a day for this. I think these have to be my favorite VIP wheels. And like I said, these fronts right here, they are leaking at the same rate. So I gotta go get that checked out sometime. And I also need to freaking polish these things. After the fires and ash and all of that, these things are looking musty, bro. Comment down below if you guys want a tutorial video on how to polish these at home. Because when I posted on Instagram, y'all were like yo how'd you do that and here we go honestly not too bad with the stock wheels i get that og vip japanese feel with it still especially with the five percent tint and a lot of people ask me like yo alex are you afraid of your five percent tint honestly i haven't had any issues with it i've had it on basically all of my cars and i've never been pulled over for tint before i've only been pulled over once and it was for speeding in the freaking evo but yeah not too bad not too bad this setup right here should be super comfortable for the drive to la it's about five hours away so it's a decent sized road trip a few moments later <laughs> It's me. <laughs> like, you need to get closer, huh? Yeah. Touch, touch license plates. What's going on, everybody? You want to make money? You want to learn how to make money? Come to my library. What's up, guys? As you can see, we're with the homies. 
We got wet media in the building. We got Ivan and his Lexus IS250. We got the infamous Tesla in the back. And who do we have behind the camera? Oh! Oh! <laughs> What's going on? They've got kicks in the building. <laughs> So we're out here just doing a quick little photo shoot. We figured, you know what, let's link up together since we had nothing better to do. Make sure you follow the homie Wet Media. He does all of the car cinematography, all of the car pictures. I'll have his link down below along with the other homies as well. Ivan, oh, it's dirty. Aw. Ivan, you did something recently to your car. I painted the calipers and today I'm gonna be adding on these beautiful holographic decals that, my boy, with that wrap cat made for me so if you're looking for any decals make sure to hit them up in the dms <laughs> oh look at the quality oh that's gonna look fire i'm gonna show them the sticker right here the brakes match perfectly with the sticker look at that i just hope it goes on straight it looks good uh, you're doing great whoa why do your boxers match <laughs> oh they do <laughs> Where did they go? Enemy UAV online. Enemy UAV spotted. Ah, oh, here we go again. Humpty Dumpty looking at <laughs> So David was recording earlier. I don't know if he got any B-roll, but either way, let's hit some B-roll. Got a little burrito right here, a pastor. Best meat ever. So beautiful. It's barely anybody out here. Ooh, all right guys. Go in for the first bite, it's all you. Can I go in for the first bite? <laughs> wow, wow. It's lit. Blueberry, burberry, banana. Tan skin, mixed race, buttercup. Canada, weather, got a bundle up. I'm trying to worry, she hit my phone, she wanna, whoa, too bad was you know they wrong.